Hello, I am a full stack developer and a top rated plus freelancer at Upwork.com. We will cover how to use Vercel to deploy our code for testing and staging environment. You will learn how to create a new project on Vercel, deploy your code and view it live on the web. This is a great way to test your code and get it ready for staging deployment. Vercel is a cloud platform for static site hosting, serverless functions and Jamstack deployment. It was formerly known as Z and is known for its focus on ease of use and developer experience. With Vercel, developers can deploy their web projects quickly and easily with features such as automatic HTTPS, a global content delivery network and get integration. The platform is designed for modern web development practices including static site generation, progressive web apps and modern front-end frameworks. It is a popular choice for developers looking for a streamlined and simple solution for hosting their web projects. Okay, So we are going to deploy our Django REST framework project on Vercel. Okay? So first of all you need to create an account if you don't have one already okay so you can just sign up or you can log in if you already have an account okay so i will continue with my github account okay so when you are done with your account creation okay then you have to clone the drf or django rest framework project from it's a repository okay on your local machine you can also clone this project okay or if you have your own project okay make sure project is available on github okay if you have not uh, push your code on github you can push it first okay then you need to just clone it on your local machine okay then you can follow further steps no let's create a file this is our project code okay i have already cloned okay so i will create a file i will give name versal.json okay you have to create this versal.json file in the root of your project directory okay this file is used by versal to configure your project deployment settings okay so we need to add some code in this file to copy the code I will recommend you okay so we need to add some code in this file okay I have already written an article on Vercel okay so you can easily copy the commands and code from here I will add this link in my video description okay so just copy Vercel.json file content okay and then paste it here Okay, so here you need to make some changes. For example, you have to replace the project name with your project name. So my project name is backend. Okay, so where our settings start by file exists. Okay, so we have to give the folder name same where our setting dot py file is. Okay. So I have replaced with backend. Okay. Next, I have to replace this name here as well. Okay. Okay. Next, we need to add another file. Okay. Then I will explain you the code in these files. You have to create another file. Build files dot sh. Okay, you can also copy the content of this file from my article. You can just copy it. Okay, and then you have to paste it in this file. Okay, now we are done with this file. Next, you have to go to this vesgi.py file. Okay, here you have to add app is equal to application. Okay, so Vercel can understand the application is app okay so next we have to 
add some lines okay in our settings.py file okay just you have to copy these three lines okay and you have to open your setting.py file okay and just go to the bottom okay here you can add okay so you can also import import os okay and then we have to make sure the allowed host is selected to star it's mean it's allow all the host okay so now we are done with our configuration like virtual.json file build files.sh and we have made changes in this file okay also we have done a change in this settings.py file as well okay so also one another thing is we need to comment our database lines as well if you go to your virtual code if you go to VL studio code and open settings.py file and go to database lines okay so we need to comment these line because Vercel does not provide a built-in database solution. So you will need to use the external database service such as Amazon RDS, Google Cloud, SQL or MongoDB Atlas. Okay. To use external database with your Django application on Vercel, you will need to configure your Django settings to connect to the database and specify the database credentials okay so you can either store the database credential as an environment variable in a versal or you can do hard coded them in your django settings okay but we have to first deploy our django application okay on versal we can just comment it okay and when successfully we will deploy our project on versal then we will attach an external database okay Okay, now let me explain you this file. What is in this file? The first build object specifies the source file name and the builder versal python. The builder versal python is used to build python applications and the config key specifies some additional configuration options for the builder. The max lambda size option set the maximum size of a single lambda function to 15 megabytes and running options sets the python runtime variant to 3.9 okay the second build object specify the source file which which is build files.sh and the builder versal static build is used to build static files and config key specify the destination directory for the build files which is set to static files build okay next we have the roots key the root key is an array of routing objects of each which specify the source URL pattern and the destination for the pattern the first route object specify that an array to the URL static should be redirected to the static this means that any static file in the static directory will be served directly from this directory okay and the second root object specifies that any other request okay it can be request that doesn't match with the first route okay it should be redirected to the python file okay so this file is likely to entry point for the python application and any other request to the application will be handled by this file okay and then we have a build files in this build file we are running a command which is uh, requirements.txt file then we are running collect static okay so if you want to add some other command you want to do some customization you can also do it okay so we are done with our configuration no let's commit our code so i will push my code to github okay so i will just update my code
okay no my changes are committed to the github no let's go to the versal.com okay on home page you have to select the repository okay so i have repository backend course select on import button okay so this is our build and master branch we are using so make sure you have chosen your repository and select the branch that contain the versal.json file and build files.sh file otherwise deployment will not work okay if you have followed me so your deployment will be successfully done okay ne next you have to just click on deploy so versal will know automatically build and deploy your django project you can view the status of deployment in the versal dashboard okay so our build is failed let's check what the issue okay so i'll write we have no module found okay so we can install this package first and we can add this in our requirements.txt file so if your build failed somehow you can just check the logs okay and then you can easily fix it pip install drfysg okay so you can also copy this package name okay and then you have to just replace pip install drf okay so we need to first install this okay this is already installed okay so but we need to add here as well in our requirement.txt to add in requirement.txt file pip freeze okay okay so you can see you now we have all the updated packages are in our requirements.txt file okay so make sure you have installed these packages okay and updated your requirement.txt file so versal can uh, detect these changes and packages to build successfully okay no i will commit the code okay new updates okay so no versal will automatically detect new changes so let's go to the versal and if i go to the home page okay so this is our project so it is automatically detected so you can see it's starting building our project so if you want to see the deployments you can go to the deployments okay and you can just click on there and you can also go to the build and you can see our build is successfully done okay great so now let's we can see that build is uploaded and completed now let's visit our website okay you can see it's deployed so you have your url you can just click on visit okay all right our project is now deployed we can also visit our admin path as well and static files everything also loaded so it's very super easy to deploy your project on versal okay so if you face any error make sure to check your build logs okay so then you can just fix it and then you can upload and then you can push your new changes to github okay and then it will automatically detect okay and will update your build code i hope this video has been helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe my youtube channel if you have any questions or feedback leave a comment below i will get back to you stay tuned for more courses and tutorials and until next time goodbye